Come back to you with another video. This is Jeray's space, and uh, I'm Jeray, and I'm here to give a couple more tips about jobs. Like we don't have enough to think about. So, uh, being in bad jobs, being in bad relationships with jobs. They are critical in today's world. Like, we have a lot going on. The situation we're in right now, the quarantine, and a lot of people are working from home, and a lot of people are working in general out. So uh, basically, I feel like this is important subject to just you know stick to. So I'm gonna do that. The realization that you hate your job. You can't stay in your job. You can't do it anymore. What are five tips? Five signs, actually. It's a sign. It's it's, it's a sign. It's like. Red flags everywhere. Five signs are when it's time to move around from the job. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Five signs on when it's time for you to move around from your job that's killing you, that's draining you. What are these signs? When should I leave? When should I go? Should I stay? Should I go? You got a 702 and should I, do I really want to stay? Do I really want to go? You know what I'm saying? That's where we at with it. So basically, when, what, how, where, okay? Five signs on when you need to leave your job. First sign is you realize that the person that signs off on your checks, you really can't stand it. You can't stand your supervisor, you can't stand your manager, you can't, you can't, they get on your nerves. They work your nerves. You know what I'm saying? You got the best job, you got the best schedule, you got the best days off, you love it. It's like, this is what it is. I, I really found my job. It's like that moment that you're like, wow, this is it for me. And then you realize that your manager sucks. What do you do now? What do you do now? Now, what do you have to do? Basically, you're gonna have to realize, you have to pay attention to these signs and see is it worth me staying okay so now that you realize that it's he's he or she is this person and this is what they're going to do with it sometimes you feel like maybe it can get better maybe it can you know maybe it'll just it's something maybe i got just my attitude maybe you've gone through that you've gone through that trying to figure out okay what should i really do what is the situation that i need to do from this point on because i love what I, I love my job i love what i do but then I'm pressured because I'm either micromanaged, okay, I have to put the pinky in there, uh, micromanaged or this person is just doesn't have any kind of clear understanding of how life is. They're not, they don't tend to care about your problems. I mean, they're not there to care like that, but you know what I'm saying. It's like some people are more understanding than others. Some people don't even know how to be a manager. Some people just got that promotion, looked at that check. And they got the job for whatever reason, said what they needed to say, and they got that job. But that don't mean they qualify for that job. So, therefore, it trickles off into how you treat your employees now. So, that person is who you have to look at every day or get a message from every day, get a slack from every day, get an IM every day, get an email every day, or a nice little visit from her coming to you or you going to there and in her office or whatever the case. You got to deal with this person. So, what you going to do? What you going to do? That's where you're at with it. You know what I'm saying? I stayed in a job for four years. I struggled and my team struggled. We struggled, okay? And the thing about it is like, okay, I thought it could get better. And in some cases, I feel like it can get better. I learned how to cope. Um, that might need to be another video, but I learned how to cope with it. But then it didn't get any better. And guess what? My mental, my physical, all that took toll, which leads to sign number two. You physically are ill. You physically and mentally are ill. Like your body is rejecting the stress that you're under. If you're in a working at a job and now you're feeling like every time you go into this job, you're not feeling well, you're stressed out, you might start having panic attacks. I had a job, I had panic attacks. Like every time I come in, my mom would play tricks on me and I'd be like, yo, I can't take, you know, it would just overwhelm me. Like I can't even breathe. I said, am I dying? 
I wasn't, but I was like, this is how I felt. It, the stress of this job, of this particular job, was a lot. And it takes a toll. So, sign number two, if you feel like you are basically, <sighs> can't take this, like, you, you're mentally not good, you're mentally not there, you physically not feeling good. I, I even came, I came to the point where I was having stomach digestive problems, um, it was a whole lot of things can take place when you're under stress. Your body will let you know that it's time for you to go. Like, you know, it's time. Like, your body is giving you warning signs. You know, you need to chill because this job that you're doing right now is stressing you out. Okay? Sign number three. Okay? Sign number three along with, you know, all the rest of us. Sign number three. Sign number three. Oh... You doing the same thing every day. It's repetitive. Doing everything every day, same thing. And at first, it's okay because now you got the hang of the job. You can do it in your sleep. You can do everything. You know, you can do it in your sleep, literally. And it's like, okay, I'm. I think I'm doing a good job. Okay, I think everything is cool. Okay. And then you get these days, turn to weeks, turn to months, turn to years, and you just feel like, wow, I'm not getting signed up for new challenges. I'm not getting any, I'm not feeling challenged. I don't feel challenged. I don't feel like I'm able to be the best I could do for this job. Like, because, you know, maybe there's not room for improvement. Like, they lied and told you they was going to be in that interview. Oh, <laughs> there's, <laughs> we have room for opportunity. We have room, like, you will grow <laughs> with the company. You will. Girl, bye. No, <laughs> you still right there. You know what I'm saying? And you might grow. And, and you know what? It's not to say you couldn't grow, but you know, it's it's probably like it could be a situation where there's not a lot of room. Like it's a couple of y'all can go, maybe one or two. But you got to be the best you can be to be the pack to even get there. If you get there, okay? They might just mm, I'll hire somebody from the outside, so you don't even feel challenged because you can't move up, you can't move down. You're not gonna move down. Oh, we don't move down. We're gonna stay. We don't go down. We go up. This is what we do. We go up. Okay. Uh, up. I'm not in frame. But it's okay. This is my first couple of videos. I'm trying, y'all. Anyway. Let's get back on subject. So, like, you need to feel challenged. If that job is not challenging you. Some people can do this every day, all day. And they're fine with it. And that's them. And then some people feel like, no. It's been a couple of years. It's been a couple of months. I want to be challenged. And then that's the sign. Like, okay, you might need to look elsewhere. Because you're not feeling challenged, baby. You're not feeling challenged. Sign number five. We're going to keep it at five. Okay. Five. You are angry. All the time. You are frustrated all the time. You maybe even be depressed all the time. It's like it's, it's spilling over to now what? Your personal life. You come home. You snapping at your spouse. You snapping at your girlfriend. You snapping at your boyfriend. You snapping at the goddamn gone keys. You snapping at the dog. You snapping at the cat. Like, I don't care. The frog. Whatever animals you got. You know what I'm saying? I'm all, you know, animal friendly. But I'm saying, like, whatever you got going on is spilling over. Now, any conversation that you having, any communication that you have with your loved ones, your friends, whatever is just taking over. You get home and it's still it's still there. Like you get up, you and they got ass who going to work because you already know what you got to deal with. Then you got ass who coming home. And it's like not fair to your family or fam, or, you know, people that surround you that love you and support you. It's not fair that they have to even deal with that, right? This is not fair. Like give these people a break. You can't stand your boss. You can't stand your job. You can't stand so everything else. You can't let that happen to where it's spilling over now. Everything you do, you can't find enjoyment in anything, and you're mad. You didn't cuss out somebody at Walmart. I mean, hold on, this Walmart. So you gotta be, <laughs> you already kind of be out of, you, you gotta be on your toes at Walmart anyway, especially right now doing this this pandemic. So basically, it's like, okay, okay, okay. You already stressed out. Now it's spilling over. You got to let that go. It's time to let. Uh, so you gotta look at where you gotta start looking you gotta start being proactive because now you've already made up your mind that 
these this job is not these signs is real this is what i need to do to get out of this badass job or get out of this job because this is too much it's too stressful it's not feeding your soul no more your energy is gone like you got to add to everybody you know what i'm saying and it's like you got to go these are five sure signs y'all it is time to move around and find something different, different for you to do and find something that may be more enjoyable because right now you're going to, if it, it continues, because you know, you can't just jump up and leave. You can't just jump up and leave. You got to be able to learn how to cope. That will be another video of mine. How to cope with staying in a job while you can until you find something else. How do you cope with these bad job bosses? How do you cope with these doing the same thing all the time, not being challenged, all these physical elements that's going on? How do I go from point A to point B? That would be another video for Jeray Space, honey. Just come right on back. Come right on back. Like I said, yeah, y'all know it's the best quality and the best light and the best background. Your girl gonna move up. You know what I'm saying? We're trying. This is just, all. This is just like what? a trial and error <laughs> trial and error type thing okay but it's okay we're gonna work through it just work with me follow me on instagram you know i'm have it down there somewhere up there or here uh, it's gonna be where somewhere it's gonna be in there in my intro my outro um you know jerry space at um wait that's the <laughs> jerry space on ig and twitter you know what i'm saying follow me on there like comment and subscribe to this video you know what i'm saying um it is what it is your girl just out here trying to do it just like everybody else you know trying to find a way to make life more enjoyable while we can and enjoy life while we can so leave it like you leave it and uh i'll see you in the next video don't forget to like and subscribe don't forget to follow me on instagram at your space thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.